Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to study about handling data. Before we begin with this, let's recall. Data. It is a collection of information. Handling data means collecting and recording information and then presenting it in the form of pictographs, bar graphs, etc. Today we are going to learn about bar graph. Bar graphs. A bar graph uses bars to show a picture of a data collected. Parts of a bar graph. There are three important parts of a bar graph. First, title. Second, labels. Third, scale. The title is always mentioned on the top. In the bar graph given below, the title is mentioned on the top. That is, students' favorite colors. The title helps us to know that what information is being represented with the help of bar graph. Second, we have labels. Before we begin with labels, let us know that there are two axes which helps us to present our information through bar graph. First is x-axis, second is y-axis. X-axis is called horizontal axis, which is also known as sleeping line. Y-axis is vertical axis, that is standing line. On X-axis, you can see the names of the colors. And on Y-axis, you can see the number of students. So, colors and number of students are the labels. Next, we have scale. You can see numbers from 0 to 18 on y-axis. These numbers have an interval of 1. Therefore, the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Children, please note the intervals can change. For example, if I take the interval as 5, so my numbers on y-axis will be 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. There are two types of bar graphs. First, vertical bar graph. In this bar graph, the bars are in vertical position, that is standing position. And on the x-axis, you can see the names of the colors. And on y-axis, you can see the number of students. Second bar graph is horizontal bar graph. In this, the bars are in horizontal position. That is, sleeping position. And on x-axis, you can see the number of students. And on y-axis, you can see the names of the colors. Children, please remember that x-axis remains the x-axis and y-axis remains the y-axis. It's only the labels those who are changing their position. To understand bar graph better, let's do some questions. This is your first bar graph. In this, you can see the title on top. That is... Favorite sports of students. On x-axis, you can see the names of the sports. That is, cricket, football, hockey, badminton, swimming, tennis. And the number of students on y-axis with the interval of 10. So, the numbers are 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now, let's answer the questions. First question. How many students like to play football? So, let's see the bar which represents football. The brown bar. The height of this brown bar reaches up to 40. So, 
our answer will be 40 students children please remember you need to write the complete answer you cannot just write 40 because 40 is just a number and to tell that what that 40 means you need to write students along with it so the answer will be 40 students next question which is the most popular sport among the students to find out the answer we need to see the bar which is the tallest that is the green bar so our answer is cricket next how many students like swimming so the blue bar shows swimming the height of the blue bar reaches between 40 and 50 therefore the answer is 45 students next which is the least popular sport among the students to find out the answer we need to see the bar which is the shortest so the purple bar is the shortest and it shows hockey therefore the answer is hockey next how many more students like to play cricket than hockey here we are comparing so we are going to do subtraction so cricket is liked by 80 students and hockey by 20 so 80 minus 20 is equal to 60 students next what is the title of the bar graph so we know the title is mentioned on the top therefore our answer will be favorite sports of students let's see another question this is a vertical bar graph because the bars are in vertical position the x-axis shows the pizza toppings and the y-axis shows number of votes let's see the questions first which is the most popular topping to find out the answer we need to see the bar which is the tallest so the green bar is the tallest and the green bar depicts pepperoni topping so our answer will be pepperoni topping next which is the least popular topping to find out the answer we need to see the bar which is the shortest that is tomato topping next which topping has 250 votes so we need to see the bars and we need to find out which bar reaches 250 so the yellow bar is reaching 250 votes therefore the answer will be mushroom topping next question how many customers have chosen onion topping and mushroom topping in total in total means adding up so we are going to add onion topping and mushroom topping votes onion topping is liked by 200 customers and mushroom topping is liked by 250 customers so 200 plus 250 is equal to 450 customers next how many customers have chosen pepper topping so let's see the bar which shows pepper topping yes the purple bar so since the purple bar reaches between 100 and 150 therefore the answer will be 125 customers let's see another question this is a horizontal bar graph here the bars are in horizontal position the title for this bar graph is school supply sales the x axis shows the number of items sold and the y axis shows names of the school supplies that is clipboard crayon folder highlighter notebook and binder now 
Now let's answer the following question. First, what is the title of the bar graph? The title is School Supply Sales. Next, how many highlighters were sold? To find out the answer, we need to see the bar which represents the number of highlighters sold. Therefore, our answer is 9 highlighters. Next, which item was sold the most? To find out the answer, we need to see the bar which is the longest. And we get to know the answer that is binder. Next question. Which item was sold the least? To find out the answer, we need to see the bar which is the shortest. And we found that clipboard has the shortest bar. So our answer will be clipboard. Next question. Which two items have same demand? To find out the answer, we need to see the bars which are of same length. And we can see that folder and crayon have bars of same length. Therefore, our answer is folder and crayon. Next question. How many more notebooks were sold than folders? Here we are comparing, so we are going to do subtraction. So the number of notebooks sold were 12 and the number of folders that were sold were 7. Therefore, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 notebooks. Next question. How many folders, notebooks and clipboards were sold in total? In total means to add. So we are going to add the number of folders, the number of notebooks and the number of clipboards that were sold. So the number of folders that were sold are 7. The number of notebooks that were sold are 12. And for clipboard, the number is 6. So 7 plus 12 plus 6 is equal to 25 items. Let's see another question. This is again a horizontal bar graph because bars are represented in horizontal position. The title of this bar graph is Speeds of Animals. Let's find out the answers. Which is the fastest animal? To find out the answer, we need to see the bar which is the longest. So, the longest bar is for cheetah. Therefore, our answer will be cheetah. Next, which is the slowest animal? So, the bar which is the shortest represents turtle. Therefore, our answer will be turtle. Next, at what speed does a deer run? To find out the answer, we need to see the bar which represents the speed of a deer. And we get to know that it is 30 miles per hour. Next question, which are the animals that have the same speed? To find out the answer, we need to see the bars which are of same length. Therefore, the answer is deer, cat and deer. Next question. At what speed does a zebra run? So, we need to see the bar which represents the speed of a zebra. Therefore, our answer will be 40 miles per hour. Next, at what speed does a rabbit run? So, let's see the bar which represents the speed of a rabbit. Absolutely right. The bar 
is touching the number between 30 and 40. Therefore, our answer will be 35 miles per hour. Next, what is the title of this bar graph? So, the title of this bar graph is Speeds of Animals. See another question. This is a vertical bar graph because the bars are in vertical position. The x-axis shows the colors and the y-axis shows the number of students. Let's find out the answers. First, which is the least favorite color? So the bar which is the shortest will help us to find out the answer. So the shortest bar represents green color. Therefore, our answer will be green. Next question. Which is the most favorite color? To find out the answer, we need to see the bar which is the longest one. So, our answer will be blue. Next question. How many students like red color? Let's see the bar which represents red color. The first bar. So, it reaches 8. Therefore, our answer will be 8 students. Next question. How many students like orange, pink and yellow in total? In total means to add. So, we are going to add the number of students, those who like orange, pink and yellow. So, the number of students, those who like orange is 5, pink is 9 and yellow is 5. Therefore, 5 plus 9 plus 5 is equal to 19 students. Next question. How many more students like pink color than purple? Here we are comparing, so we need to do subtraction. So the pink color is liked by 9 students and purple by 4. Therefore, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 students. Next, which two colors are equally liked? To find out the answer, we need to see which two bars are of equal length? So we can see from our bar graph that orange and yellow are having same bars. That is having same length. So our answer will be orange and yellow. I hope you all have understood well. Keep practicing. Thank you.